Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to use the filter function in Python. So let's get started with our VS Code. So here, firstly, we will create a file by the name filter.py over here. Now, firstly, I will explain you what the filter function do. Filter function is basically used to. Uh, it is a simple but powerful tool to pick up the specific items from a list and that matches a condition so let's get started basically what the filter do filter is used when you want to remove the items that don't match a condition like uh, firstly i will tell you what is the syntax of filter function by the name we can say that filter is used to choose the specific items from a list or a tuple so the syntax is like we will use filter as filter and here we will write function to be applied or here we will write the iterable like list and tuple etc so let's get started firstly we will make a function with the word def and def we will check is even is even or not so it will take a list of numbers we will create the numbers list ahead now it will check a return mm, it will check whether if the elements are uh, even or not it will directly return uh, the boolean value like if n divided by 2 you can also write if numbers divided by 2 double equals to 0 ok and in the next line we will define numbers as a list having 1 2 3 4 5 6 and in the next line we will use the filter function like what will be the result and result will be filter here we will write the function name like is even it will check whether it is even or not and the next iterable is our list numbers now if we print the list form of result what it is going to print basically what it will do it will check numbers list then it will move to sixth line it will see that we have we are using filter function over here and it is calling the function is even so it will go to is even and the filter means it will take each element as an argument to is even function it will check whether it is divisible by two or not and if it is divisible by two then it will return that number simultaneously it will do the same with all the uh, numbers in the list and hence it will print the result so let's see by running it you can see the output is 2 4 and 6 it filters out the even numbers now you will think that uh, we can also use lambda function over here instead of def like because lambda in lambda we uh, don't use any variable kind of things so here we will define lambda function and in this lambda function we will check whether the numbers uh, whether numbers by 2 double equals to 0 or not so let's run it and you will see the same output like it shows lambda takes 0 position arguments but one was given ok 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 so it takes lambda function basically takes a 0 positional arguments but we have given the one because we didn't specify the argument over here you should specify like it is numbers list over here and now if we run it again then you can see the output is 2 4 and 6 again so this is the use of filter function and uh, in real life example if we want to is, let's say if we are making a string let's say if we are making a string of words and we have the words like python the words like python as uh, um, empty string and uh, let's say we have ai and let's say we have f again an empty string and let's say we have flask over here now if i am using the filter function it will check the known empty ones i will use filter i will just use lambda function over here lambda it will take the argument word and what the operation it's going to perform is it will check whether the word is uh, 
not equal to empty and the iterable is words over here okay now if we move ahead it will see that print it will print the list format of community let's see what it's going to give the output you can see it have given the output python here and plus because these are the non empty strings so this is a real life example uh, and to use the filter function in non empty strings uh, what's happening here is actually the function is applied to each the item you can see the function filter is applied to each of the element and if it returns true the item stays if it returns like you can see if it is true words not equal to true this is true you can say this is true so it will stay and if it return the false the item is filtered out so basically summarizing the filter function is like we can use filter to select the items based on a condition and we combine it with the lambda for short and the clean expressions uh, because lambda in lambda we won't use many arguments like it's a one liner definition of a function uh, always wrap with the list to get a usable result if we don't use list if like if i'm not using the list let's see if i'm not using the list over here so let's see the output it will give me the list only but it will just give me the address filter object at this address but we want it in real so that we can see it here if i use list over here then you will be able to see the list fine so this is the use of filter function i hope you understood the use in the next video we will talk about the reduce function a function that lets you shrink a list down to a single value so stay tuned for that i hope you understand the concept of filter function so in the next video till then bye bye guys